Hey scientists, I'm going to show you how to complete the rocks art project. Um, you're on step one, which is watching this video. Congrats. Um, here is what you're going to do. You want to choose one of these projects. You do not need to do all three. You want to select one that matches your interests and what you like doing. Um, so let's review. For each of these, first one is an acrostic poem. You've done this in English before. Here's what it looks like when you're done. Uh, basically, you spell out a vocab word like volcano. That's my example. And on four lines, you use the first letter to write something about the word. You should also include a picture. You might like doing this if you like using Google Slides and if you like to write or describe things in writing. To complete this assignment, you click on the link, you make a copy, and then you're going to do your work in Google Slides. If you need more help on this assignment, the directions are here and they're different from this. They're more detailed. The next option is word art. I'm pretty sure that you have called this word graffiti in Ms. Flores' class. If you like to do your work online or on paper, this is an option for you. So if you're someone who really likes to draw with a paper and pencil or markers, you can do this. Same idea. You can click on this link, make a copy, that becomes your work because you're gonna submit this URL for whichever one you do. Uh, this one, even though this is one of three options, you have more options here. So you can choose to do this online by following these directions or on paper. Um, again, your choice how you do this. You're gonna do it for the same three words. The last option is a new one. I don't think I've seen teachers do this before, but we'll try it out. If you like fashion, if you like to create outfits, or you like planning what you're going to wear, you can create a look for the vocab word. So for example, this is a vocab word look for the word volcano. So this person has like a poofy wig, which could be like ash. Uh, they have a glittery top, which could be like lava, and then black pants, which could be like the rock that is made. Um, and you would do that not for the word volcano, but for those same three vocab words, metamorphic, igneous, and sedimentary rock. So again, to review, you choose one of these. It's whichever one you like the most. And here's how I'm grading you. I want to see that however you describe the word, you do it clearly and accurately. That means it's the correct definition of the word or the correct meaning. I want to see that the images that you copy and paste from Google or your drawings are creative and that they correctly reflect the meaning of the vocab word or idea. So for example, for this volcano, um, I didn't draw a fish because fish have nothing to do with volcanoes. Everything here has to do with a volcano. Make sure That's what I mean when I say like, make sure your pictures correctly represent the word that you're writing. Uh, and last, I want to see that you showed creativity and originality. Uh, an example, do not copy from the internet because it's really easy for your teachers to Google and figure out if you did or did not. Also, I have Google. I can look up the meaning of things myself if I want to. Uh, your teachers want to know what you know, not what Google knows. Uh, and then the total points for this assignment will be nine, which is your biggest test or quiz so far. So make sure you do a good job on this.